Friends, today I'm going to brag a little bit about this uh, new camera raw tool that you have called D-Haze. So what I have here, I have some Dragon Boat uh, photos from this past weekend. I'm going to go ahead and just click on one of these and say open in camera raw. And so camera raw, you know, in the past, I've, you can see this a little bit dark here in the foreground. I'd like to up that exposure just a little bit so I can see these ladies here that are riding the boat. But I have washed, totally washed my sky out by doing this. You have this new dehaze thing which brings the sky back in really nicely. Now it also sometimes brings some more, oh, it brings nice contrast in. It doesn't look too dark to me. But then you can still go back and use your shadow, your shadow highlights or whatever, and you can bring some more mid-tone shadows out of here. Real quickly, this used to be a hard thing for me to do. Sometimes I would do actually two different camera raw edits. Uh, and, and by that I say I would do one where the sky was optimized, one where the foreground was optimized. Then I would erase off the parts that I didn't want so I could expose the sky the way I wanted to. This is really nice and satisfying. I'm going to go ahead and open this image and I'm going to save it in Photoshop. Uh, you know, quite often I'm seeing that, this, that none of this is really, I mean, you know, this looks great. You know, good job Adobe by coming up with this. Uh, like I say, sometimes it will affect your foreground. Most of the time, that gives you a really nice, satisfying sky. And so I'm finding I'm using this for a lot of different reasons, not just to dehaze the sky. But I'm going to do a couple more photos so you can see what I'm doing with this. We'll save this one as a JPEG. I'm saving a level, a level 11. I'm not saving my full quality. I've got the uh, RAWs if I need anything better than that. Let's look at another one here. So here's some people who are just coming in. Let's just be able to open the camera raw. Um, I'm going to expose that to where I think it looks about right. Might do a little more saturation, uh, even clarity, just a little bit here. And off in the distance, the sky doesn't look bad, but I, I like to make the tree line look a little more dramatic and all there too. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit the shadows just a little bit here. And that's kind of what I want for the foreground and for the trees and all in the background here. So you can see even for like a tree line or something that gets washed out. Now you can see some, some cool details here in this, uh, you know, the old boathouse and the houses in the background. I'm going to say OK. Now does it, does it do a kind of hyper uh, color? Possibly so. They did have very vibrant colors on that day. And the thing I'm going to say is uh, I was shooting in, in just full auto mode uh, with a Sony Alpha 6500. I didn't have time to try to do a whole bunch of settings. Uh, it was a very challenging shoot in a way because you're going from uh, you know, just, just all kinds of different angles. Now, here's, here's one that's pretty darn dark. The sky looks kind of nice, kind of dull back here in the background. Let's open this one up. Let's go ahead and just use this photo maybe. Or maybe this is a better choice here. Let's open the camera raw. I'll show you again. Again, this would have been a harder thing to have done. Now, the, the thing I've been doing is going for exposure first, getting my exposure about where I want it, bumping my saturation up. Now I've kind of lost my sky, my sky like this. And this dehaze brings all that kind of back in really nicely. And again, just a little bit of shadow work here. And you've got something that looks pretty nice. If you think you've gone too far, your saturation just back it off a little. But that is so much better, uh, better looking image than, the, uh, than I, what I started with. Save that one, and that's all I was going to say, folks. If you've got, uh, if, if first of all, if you're not shooting camera raw, you should be shooting in camera raw. It gives you a lot of color depth where you can go in and do stuff like this and make your images just look a whole lot more uh, dramatic. And uh, so these these images look really nice. And again, I didn't have to do any manual settings. I just left it in camera raw, shot everything the whole day uh, in. Um, you know, in camera raw in the auto color mode, and these are going to be really nice for our uh, for our use internally here to show up at our Dragon Boat race. Uh, the place I work, Carolina's Healthcare System, Blue Ridge, did sponsor the Dragon Boat race this year. I hope this has given you just something to look at, a way to use maybe dehaze if you've not used that yet. It is a new tool. It's not been. It's, I think it's only come out maybe in the last year that I've even seen this. And so it does really nice, just richening up these backgrounds and places that typically would be dull where you wish you could do an HDR type image, but you don't have time to set it up right. And uh, yeah, it's just impossible to do it. So for those of you who are shooting fast and loose, uh, just right off the kind of off the hip kind of uh, photo shooting, I think you'll like doing this. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.